You've just tuned in to the greatest podcast in the world right now, today, this second. It's And the Wife with Anastasia. Does she call your father on you at all? What do you mean? Like, if you guys, if you and your brothers, because all those boys, mm-hmm. do some stupid shit, does she like, okay, fuck you guys, I'm going to call you dad. Does she ever do that? I'm totally going to call your dad on this. <laughs> um, well, at that time, my parents were divorced. Yeah. Still, even, so. I mean, so, even though. No. So no, no. Not, not, after they were divorced, they, like, have zero contact with each oh, other. Gosh. Okay. Like, my dad is totally fine. He's like, yeah, I, I try to reach out to her every once in a while, but my mom's like, no, not well, responding. You know. Um, before they got separated, I think maybe a couple of times, like, wait till your dad gets home. This is going to be crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. When your dad gets home. Oh, Lordy. It's going to happen when he gets here. Oh, you are so going to get it. Oh, man. And then he got home and he was like, just went straight to bed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to be that dad 100%. I'm going to be like, I'm tired. I don't care what bullshit just happened. If he's smoking weed, then I'll deal with it in the morning. <laughs> I'll deal with it tomorrow. And then, with and then tomorrow. he wakes up and goes straight to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, shit. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> so, wait. So, you're like. How old are you now? 22? I'm 22, yeah. Okay. So we keep talking about like millennials and marriage, right? Oh, mm-hmm. no. <laughs> and all the freaky stuff you kids are into these days. Mm. Wait, are you considered a millennial? Yes. Millennial? No. No, he's out. He's the next thing. I mean, I don't really care. Everyone just calls anyone younger than them millennials these yeah. days. <laughs> but um, and technically. And like anybody older than the boomers. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. There's either millennials or boomers. And, and that's, that's it. it. <laughs> And honestly, I don't really feel like it's fair to like say everyone who's a boomer is the same and everyone yeah. who's this is the same. I mean, yeah, there's a ton of people my age who are fucking, you know, who idiots. suck, idiots. And you can just be like, oh, every millennial or whatever. Mm. I think technically I'm Gen Z or something, but mm. really it doesn't matter. Um, but I, I see what you're saying. Like people my age, it's certainly different how we're hooking up, yes. how we're getting married, Tinder and the whole thing. Yeah. Well, because the whole dynamic. Because we were talking to uh, Tabby. She says like everybody is just like whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's getting married. Nobody is. It's it, there's dating. two camps. Nobody's there's, really yeah. actually dating. There's two camps. Yeah. There's the ones who get married at 21 years old. Yeah. And they they hi, they marry their high school sweetheart. Yes. And then they either get in a divorce six months later. Yeah. Or they just have a kid immediately. And then it's like, what are you doing, bro? You're 21 years old. I have like, I don't know, several different friends who do that. And then there's the other camp where just like you're saying, everyone's like, whatever. Yeah. Everyone's like, I'm making my own money. You know, if I f- hang out with someone casually here and there or they'll have casual sex or something, you know, there's not really that attachment where like, you go and you go on a couple dates first and yeah. then you so- court them and you introduce them to your parents. <laughs> And then uh, yeah. that doesn't. I, I fuck don't know. parents. <laughs> fuck parents. <laughs> so are you? Are you, have you ever thought about getting married at some point in your yeah, life? Or I, is like even is it on your radar? It's, I've been back and forth. I mean, for the longest time, I was like, I'm never getting married, never having kids. Fuck all that. And you know, I've seen now, like with kind of the, I, it, it's a blessing and a curse. The internet because. Mm-hmm course all these things you're talking about but i can also see a lot of examples of good relationships and what those look like like i see um tom segura and his wife they have a healthy relationship and they yeah but they're in their time. 40s like like me and anna you know we're in, we're in our late 40s how dare you? we're basically 50 <laughs> we are maybe you are yeah so i, I mean like <laughs> I feel like later in life, if I found someone who I could have that chemistry with, then I can see the signs where it's not. I mean, obviously, no relationship is perfect, but I feel like 
I'm more attuned to like when I meet a person, I know whether or not I'm going to conflict with them later on. So but, do you, you know, think now that you you want to have children at some point? I, I do think it'd be um, cool. You know, mm-hmm. I think I think I've matured to a point where I understand like what and at a certain point when you get to your you know, I guess your guys' age or whatever. Your guys' <laughs> old motherfuckers. I I kinda think about like what would you do if you don't have kids and yeah. you don't aren't in a relationship. I mean, you're just a fucking old dude who goes to work every day yeah. and then and does whatever you want. I yeah, but at a certain point, <laughs> you've done everything, and uh-huh. it's like, you, you know, need... I need human connection because uh-huh. I feel like people are lacking that a lot of times nowadays. Like everyone's like, it's important. It's important, you know. Mm-hmm. I I I've at least I've learned you can buy whatever you want. You know, I can get a car I like, or I get whatever I like. I buy a new buy whatever I want, a new computer, a new whatever, a new phone. And at the end of the day, I just enjoy way more hanging out with friends or mm. being with family or going on vacation with people and just, you know, getting to know people on a more personal level and being able to relate to them. Mm. So you don't just feel like I have, I'm have. i in my little bubble and I have all my nice things, but I don't have any friends to share that with. Uh-huh. So I feel like at a certain point, your friends are off when when you get older your friends live in other states or they have children of their own and they don't have time to hang out with you and you're just kind of sitting there and you yeah. don't really have that connection <laughs> with people anymore so you kind of need your family to be your little yeah you know human connection bubble and you can pass your values on to kids and hopefully raise them okay but right now as a 22 year old i would not get married at right now no, okay. definitely not not have kids uh-huh. I would wait. I, I mean, I've said 30 is uh-huh. the age about when I'd start thinking about it. Who knows if it's earlier or later than that? It depends what ends up if I find the right person or if I'm comfortable in my career or whatever at that point. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to be still developing as a person myself before I start a family or something. I feel like I should be secure in what I'm doing, which I guess you're never really get to that point where you're 100% sure of yourself. Yeah. But at least enough where you're not like, oh, I don't even know what I'm going to do for a career. Who am I? (laughs) I'm doing some soul searching. (laughs) Like you need to be, you need to not only, you need to know how to take care of yourself, know how to value yourself before you can value other people. Mm -hmm. You know, like be able to, you you can't put your problems onto your kids or your wife or whatever. And then it just becomes a fucking mess. So do you date now or do you just hang out <laughs> um well i'm kind of prefer stu- dating or hanging out uh well what would you define the difference be i think dating is like you are purposely going out together mm-hmm. to do with an event together like mm-hmm. like, like you find some to, right makes yeah. fine and set a plan like, we're gonna yeah. go to the bowling alley yeah and if sex happens it happens if it mm-hmm. doesn't it doesn't mm-hmm. but i think when you're hanging out you're specifically just having sex kind of aren't like you? there's no and the hanging like, out the other things like maybe mm-hmm. going to a movie or something like that mm-hmm. is part of it mm-hmm. maybe but the sex is definitely gonna happen do you think that interesting yeah um because it seems like the kids these days. I know I say it, I know I say <laughs> sure, it a no, lot. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. Um, it's like a lot to, more of the hanging, hanging out, out stuff. Out. Yeah. yeah. So like if we're going to get together, we're going to fuck. Yeah. Um, and if we, you know, if we get hungry, we might eat. But right. we're definitely going to fuck. I mean, I, I, you can look at it however you want, but I almost feel like that's, um, you can, you can create a better connection with someone that way. Really? Because you could, Wait, you know, which be all, way? Which way? Just hanging out because yeah. it's you don't have this formality wall in front of you where you have to the first date, you uh-huh. have to be There's this not a lot kind of, of boxes person. You need to check off. There's not a lot of boxes you need to check off. You're just being yourself, they're being themselves, uh-huh. and you either vibe or you don't. You yeah. know? It's like, oh, I because you're almost simulating what's gonna happen after the dating phase. You're just yeah. kind of skipping the dating phase. Because after the honeymoon phase or whatever is over. Yeah where you're not all like checking the boxes and you're like bringing her flowers and all that. Eventually you're both going to be just hanging out. Yeah. And so you kind of want to test the waters of that first before you get into a relationship. I want to know how we 
fit together if we're just going to be hanging out like on a Tuesday, Uh you know? (laughs) So like, that's kind of how I feel about it. It reminds me of the the comedian chick. If you're doing that on a Tuesday, what happens on a Friday? (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. Like just you could. banging chicks on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to find that. <laughs> like you go to uh, the Cirque du Soleil show, and then you go to, out to a fancy dinner, yeah. and then you so you go but get you don't have to spend money these days. <sighs> yeah, really. And I feel like, but okay, so what? So so <laughs> so you're skipping the wooing pro? The, yeah, the wooing stage. But yeah. do you? Okay. All right. All right. Wait. <laughs> okay so <laughs> okay so yeah okay so um skipping the wooing mm-hmm. are you do you think of the girls that you just hang out with as girls that you might potentially have a relationship with or are they just girls that you hang out with they're just booty calls like they used we used to call them back in the old days yeah, yeah they're yeah. not that anymore right so um, do you think these are booty calls right are or there are girls that I might want to look for a deeper connection with. Um, I mean, there are guys out there where they just have like a hundred side chicks. And yeah. None of them are a really hundred side chicks. chicks. Is there a main chick? There's no main chick. There's no main chick. You just all, all side chicks. You know, all... so you can have, I want chocolate today. I want raspberry tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you know, I want, you I know, want rum red... raisin. <laughs> I want rum raisin today. You know, Butterscotch. I want the freaky girl on Friday. <laughs> Yeah. Or whatever. I mean, I guess if you're that guy and you're into that, I feel like that's not a healthy way to go about things. Yeah, that's why I don't. I think that's, that's why I'm having a hard time at. understanding how but, it works with the kids these days. If there's a lot of just hooking up, yeah, and not so much of the wooing. Like, right. I mean, I guess how I would do it is I would start with the hanging out mm-hmm. and then build that into the wooing. Okay. If it if so I normally you know, it's the other way, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. So the, I wooing, flip it. the wooing is like like I'm I'm casting out. Yeah, exactly. I'm casting lure, out yeah. a lure. Mm-hmm. See if they pole, bite. Like showing up with the limo. I'm just running into. The, <laughs> we're going out to, you know, we're hitting the club. Well, we're going out to dinner and mm-hmm. then we're hitting the club. Going yep. TGI Fridays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go to. Chilies, yeah. Get a, get yeah. Chilies, margarita special. I'm gonna get three appetizers. Oh, Ooh, big spender. <laughs> this chick is good. Yeah, I mean, there's, a, there's, there's, there's some, there's less elements of like, oh, the guy has to pay for everything. Yeah, and yeah so that, I was literally more. just thinking about that. Yeah. So Frank's like, hey, so you mean if I date a chick right now, I don't have to pay for shit anymore? So <laughs> it depends. So there, so I, they were just talking about it on the radio, uh, like who pays for stuff these days? Who pays for stuff? I mean, uh, have you have you it, has there been a long thought process about this? Like, do you have to do talk you about go it Dutch? First? Yeah, <laughs> or because because the whole thing was like if if uh, it depends on who asks. Who out on the date? Yeah, I've heard of that where it's like, you know, who who drove and then there's all these fucking rules you can follow to say like who gets the last slice of pizza because you drove and then okay, okay. if I get the last slice of pizza, then you have to pay what? or whatever, you know, however it works. <laughs> okay, so so here's a scenario. So you uh, with your Toms mm-hmm. yep. and the Toms chick. Vegan Toms, not yeah. just normal Toms. Sorry. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Not normal time. Ah, like who pays? So yeah. I, I yeah, listen yeah, to the yeah. radio. The radio. Because I'm old. <laughs> the, radio, the radio. And the radio said the radio uh, they had said. a whole thing where they had like people calling in and they were saying, like, <laughs> would you respect a man? Would you get a second date if the man didn't pay? No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I feel there like there were some people that were very adamant no. about like like uh fuck this shit. <laughs> If this <laughs> motherfucker didn't pay, like if he's like trying to go Dutch, like if he's looking at you, like bitch, you paying, uh, then you know you we're not getting a second date. Mm-hmm. Not, getting a se- not with who's me. calling in, young. young <laughs> yeah, people, I mean, because you don't know. Uh, that's the thing. It's like twenty to thirty ish. I mean, that's but you but don't know. That's what 30, I was yeah. gonna yeah answer with. Is it there's there's different camps of people. There's yeah. the, still a good sized portion of people who are like. 
Yeah, hundred percent. The man pays. Period. Under discussion. There's uh-huh. guys who are like, "Woman's not gonna pay." Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. There's girls who are like, "I'm not even gonna look you in the eyes." If you know. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> so there were some people that were calling in, like logical people, or yeah. like that's a power move. Oh. Uh, whatever. <laughs> it, no. Yeah. It is I a mean, power move. Is yeah. it a power move? Yeah, because some How? women want somebody. Some. You know, they want men to be the power in the yeah, relationship. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yes. And if the man isn't paying, mm-hmm. then they don't feel like the yes. power is there. I feel like that's... Yeah. And they're not submitting at that it's, point. Yes. M- it's almost... I mean, people are going to argue this, but uh, it's almost... I feel like most women kind yeah. of like that, even at a subconscious level. Like, I'm not saying the man is powerful over the women and the women or whatever, but they want the man to kind of take the lead a little bit if if yeah. the woman's in the driving seat of the relationship the whole time they're like i feel like i'm he's wearing not the a pant. man yeah. he's not a, i feel like he's not a man is what <laughs> yeah, they say and, and look and this we're saying 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 yeah it's super controversial but i do like being submissive yeah um, i feel like it's the, i like a man to be in charge yeah of things and when he's not in charge of stuff yeah um it's not as attractive to me 100 percent. it's like he's not he's less of a man he's like yes. a beta man or a, he's almost like yeah. a, dating another woman it's like yeah if i was <laughs> might as well date one of my if friends if i want to date chicks i could date <laughs> chicks exactly. chick, you know she knows and, what i want i mean um <laughs> A lot of times, like those San Francisco guys and all that, the metrosexuals <laughs> yeah. or whatever, who are just more like, you know, they have their little turtleneck sweaters and they show up to the date and like, Wait, we're going to little pay. turtleneck? Is that a mock turtleneck? <laughs> small turtleneck. Like it's, they wear a size small. Smirtleneck. And they order It's a smirtleneck. Smirtle neck. <laughs> they, they wear a small. And they order Hashtag smirtleneck. TM. And they have their man bun and then they yeah. show up. No. With their vegan tattoo across the neck. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, all right, let me get out my calculator and we're going to pay 50% nope. of the tab yeah. each. Uh-uh. Yeah. And I feel like you're going to pay me 50% for the gas money. It dries you up. And and then the woman's <laughs> like, what am I doing? Yeah. What's going on here? Yeah, they're they're dried up. They're like. <laughs> yeah, so I'm saying, does that dry it up? Like you're 100%. Not, you're I not, mean. Like it ain't happening. No, it's not going to happen. Not but, with me. I mean, but I think. Younger women, maybe they mm-hmm. don't think that way anymore. No, I yeah. honestly, I, I, they, they want everyone to think that that's not what they truly feel. Yeah, like everyone's like, no, the women are just, you know, we're exact same, so we're gonna pay for whatever. Yeah, and I'm not saying that they aren't the exact same. They just, you know, at a subconscious level, most of them are like, this is lame. Where I'm just like <laughs> having to almost take care of this guy yeah like he's a child or something <laughs> well there is you the know? theory that everybody talks about all the time like you know within the first 10 15 seconds yeah if, if you're gonna fuck chem- somebody yeah if 100%. You're gonna, yeah and if you down roll up and uglies yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. and i feel like you have to start with that you're leading and you're like you know i'm the man of this interaction here yeah. you know i for me it's not that I want to pay, you know, it's like I make decent money, mm-hmm. you know, I'm asked, I'm taking you out, I'm going to pay and that's it. You but, know, I don't but, want you to pay. So the, the radio program, because mm-hmm. I'm old, yep. uh, <laughs> was saying, some of the people calling in were saying like, it depends on who asked who out or like, no, like where... Well, was the that is interesting. If like, the girl, where was the shift? If the girl asks you out, whether or not the guy pays, I don't know. I've never had a girl ask me out on a date like that. Mm-hmm. It's normally like the girl. If the girl's going to initiate something, mm-hmm. they're just going to initiate the conversation, and then I will ask them on a date. Uh-huh. I've never had it where a girl's like, "Hey, we're gonna get pizza." <laughs> this Thursday and you're coming. <laughs> <laughs> this Thursday. Then I'm gonna feel like I'm dating a man because yeah. they're controlling me. Yeah. Okay. So if a you woman know? was controlling you, but, would you I mean, feel? I fucking hate that. Actually. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, that's when I get full macho testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> Roar! Roar! <laughs> is I don't want a woman controlling me. Okay. It's you know when I get that feeling like the woman's trying to control, mm. trying to be that man role in yeah. a way. I'm just like no. So it dries you up in a way. <laughs> I get very dry. <laughs> Someone have moisturizer. 
testosterone level <laughs> low. <laughs> <laughs> like that was one of the reasons I broke up with my ex girlfriend is uh-huh. like I would do something and she's like no we're not doing that um, and you can't do that oh, wait like, like I don't what? want you doing that I don't remember give like, a really good example <laughs> give a real mm, it was something like top I was, ten I was <laughs> wait in, top five oh uh, Frank I was <laughs> in the grocery store or something and I was being you know a shithead or whatever and then. Like pranking I think, people, yeah, like, yeah. something like that. You know, I was like, uh, like I'm gonna knock, I'm gonna knock this uh, thing, box of cheese that's on the floor, and you know, I don't know. I was doing something stupid like that, and she's like, "No, we're not doing that right now. You're not gonna be, you know, I don't like that. Don't do that." And you're like, and "Bitch!" And I'm like, "Bitch!" <laughs> If I want to throw the cheese, it's at the fucking manager of the store. I'm the manager right now. If I, hey, I want the manager. I want the Bring night manager. <laughs> Bring him in. I know he's not working right now. Send, drive him into work. Call him into work. And throw these Cheetos in his head. Hot Cheetos. Like I, if she were to go about, it was just kind of the tone of the voice or whatever. Like if she would have been like, "Oh, hey, she this got the is, tone on you." She got the tone on me. Like she was like fucking my mom telling me, "Don't do that." <laughs> if she would have been like, "You're embarrassing me. Can we please not do this?" I'd be like, "All right, all right." But it was more like, like she knows you're these not motherfuckers gonna... in the grocery store, right? <laughs> right, like whatever. If she's like, "This makes me feel uncomfortable," or whatever. I'm not gonna be, like, be invited okay. to the next Christmas party. But she's like, "You're not gonna do that. Uh-oh. Stop doing that." And it was like, "What are you, my fucking dad, or whatever?" <laughs> <laughs> we'll sit in the corner, <laughs> bitch. I do what I want. I was like, "Bitch, I'll do whatever the fuck I want," you know. And I was like. I want to buy whatever car. She's like, that's a stupid, don't buy that car. I don't want you to have you that the car. car police. And I was like, I'll buy whatever the fuck car I want to buy. <laughs> I'll spend my money. However the fuck I want, you know? Uh-huh. Um, so I don't know that. I don't know if that's necessarily the same thing, but it just, the, her, her demeanor of how she was doing it. It was like, she was taking the lead of that interaction. So you, like, do you feel like that. you need to be in the, driver's seat in a relationship um i feel like i should be the driver of my own okay like life and can she drive her own car she can too? i i don't <laughs> feel like i'm going to dictate her decisions you okay. know we're both individuals and we both can do whatever we want mm. um but you know well in in every relationship there's the alpha and the beta 100 percent. Right? but so I, it but doesn't matter if you're the man or the woman here and there where it's like you know, like we, I'm you gonna know, drive. You and I know that we've yeah, seen plenty, exactly, of female alphas. Oh, <laughs> I can think of one. On yeah, the top of my. We're not head. gonna say the name, yeah. but we know. You and I <laughs> both know. I I, know, I feel like I we, feel we like know it's more a than comp- one. It's an over. We know yeah, hundred percent. I can't say any names. I know. But you know that we. I know, know exactly. At least half and a that dozen. shit. I don't know if it's. You can say whatever you want. Like, oh, you feel like. A small man, you just insecure or whatever. No, it's like no, it's just ah, I when don't you're like at, it. when you're at home, it's a different relationship yeah, 100%. than when you're at work. Hundred percent. I'm sure these men are like the shit, mm-hmm. like pounding tables yep. and giving people the finger mm-hmm. and like <laughs> throwing bows yep. at work. But yep. when they're at home, it's a different story. Yeah, the their their partner, with their wife. Or so, husband so you're talking about, is the is the alpha. So you're talking yeah. about guys who want some woman to boss them around. They, they, I don't know necessarily if they want, want it, it. They just yeah. let it happen. They that's just they don't the notice, dynamic. They don't notice no, some, because they, they know. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, know. I it's, think maybe they've been in the relationship um, for decades. If you want to relax at home. And you don't want to be in charge of stuff anymore. Yeah, because you're what in I'm charge saying. all day long. Exactly. You want mm-hmm. some woman that's going to be in charge of everything. Oh, doesn't matter you're, if it's a woman okay, or a man. Okay, you're but a mate like, to you're be mate. in charge of everything at home because you're in charge of stuff all day long. So it's yeah. like I don't have to worry about shit because I know my mate has it. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm okay. saying. My mate is in control while I'm at home. Here's yeah. here's the they're the they're the they're the pants in the relationship. Yeah. Uh huh. The hashtag pants. Hashtag pants. Yeah, I remember. Why so many hashtags? I remember. I, I hear. I overhear it all. Yeah, one boy's going on Twitter over yeah. here. <laughs> um, I I hear it all the time where like women are like, I feel like I'm the pants in the relationship. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't like that. But the the thing that I notice a lot is the woman will try and um or whoever the the beta 
I'll just say the woman in the relationship will tell the guy, like, you can't hang out with these people mm-hmm. and you can't oh, go to these the events. And the it happens worst. all the that time. That never works. And it's not always flat out like you can't go. Like mm-hmm. they won't flat out say it. But it'll be like they'll they'll be passive aggressive. Like if you don't do what they want, they'll make you miserable. They'll be passive aggressive about it. They'll be like, oh, well, I guess I'll just be upset then. I'll just be like this. For example, my boy will say, we're, we're getting together. We're going to have drinks. And we inv- I invite some guy whose wife is busting his balls all the time. <laughs> and uh, like we're going to have drinks. And she's like, oh, well, my wife wanted She's cooking dinner tonight. And, you know, I don't want to not <laughs> That's eat how the he dinner. Talks. I don't want to not eat the dinner she cooked. She worked hard on it. I don't want to cheat on her dinner. And then I've been at their house while this. I've I've seen other exchanges. Like I know what happens where it's like he'll be like, "Hey, honey, can I go out to whatever?" And she's like, "Well, I made all this food, and now you're not gonna and you never hang out with me." And they just try to like do the guilt thing where, you know, that's not healthy. It's not healthy at all. It's so unhealthy. Oh, and they're or like, is it? Maybe letting you have a mirror on your behavior. Could it be that? Once or twice, I get it. It's like you you put the effort and you cook dinner, and that's really uh, nice. And like, I want you to appreciate that I made dinner. I see yeah. the point of view there, but yeah. not over time when that's every single case where mm-hmm. you they're like, we're going to my cousin's birthday party, mm-hmm. and and there's no exception. We're constantly it's her over him and his friends. Like mm-hmm. once in a while, he's you got to let. Him go off and hang out with his friends. You can't players always gotta be. Play. What it, players got to play. I can't always I think, be. I think uh, that's the concern. The players no, not, play. No, I'm saying like you like, can't. You got to let your bank have their own life. Okay? Yes, exactly. I understand that, but I think sometimes. No, but that's what that's what that's what that's what he's saying is like you you have to have a relationship in in such a way where your mate has their own life away 100%. from you. 100%. But it should be equal. Both mates should have their own life. Yeah. Yeah. Life. But I'm saying the, like, the, so it like, can't just be one mate. I get to live my life and like, you get to stick, stay here locked for in example, the house. Yeah. For example, uh, you going out with your girl homies <laughs> okay. on the, on the cruise. Uh-huh. I mean, going out with my homies on my shit. Yes. Where we we both have our own things away from each yeah, other. Yeah, there's relationships yeah. where that and wouldn't we, fly. That's an understanding yeah. where yeah, we have our own time away from each other, but when we're together, like we still have our relationship together. But we, you have to accept and respect your time away from each other. Okay, but I think that's what Robert's saying. Hundred percent. Like, so like you guys, at least in that uh, aspect, I feel like it's a healthy exchange where it's mm-hmm. like that's fine. But I see it all the time. Where that exact same scenario where you're going on the cruise with the girls, you would say to Frank, you're going with me. Mm -mm -mm. I don't care what you got going on, but you need (laughs) to come with me. And they won't say it like that. It's like, oh, but my family's going to be there and you have to be there with me. Or they'll like they'll cry or whatever to like do some sort of manipulation. Oh, girls, they cry. No, whatever, whatever they do, you know, they might be passive aggressive about it. And then like you're like, well, all right, I guess I'll go. Guess and I'll then go. the guy's like, oh, we're going to this really cool football game. You know, the Jets are playing whoever. It's really a big game, and me and all the guys are going. Mm. And she's like, but I cook dinner. But I cook dinner. <laughs> She'll be like, I. She's like, no, you can't. I don't want you to go to that. Football games are all noisy and stuff. You shouldn't go to that. And she'll there'll be some excuse for it. And like, and definitely not. She won't go to his things. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying she has to go, but it's like the guy has to go to all of the parties and stuff that the girl wants to. Mm-hmm. And if the guy wants to go and do something, he can't do it. And the girl's definitely not going to go with the guy and do those things. I see it all the time. Where like every family event, mm. every you but, know but work the, party, the guy has to be there because she has to show the for whatever reason. It, like <laughs> she just wants to show it off, like, oh, I have a boyfriend or whatever. Uh-huh. But if the guy wants to go and do something, he either can't go or if he wants to bring her, she refuses to go. But did the relationship start where the male was the or uh, yeah, the person you know, the male in this case, was the alpha? And the female was I the I see beta. it all the time. Yeah, where and it then slowly in some shifts. Case, yeah, it slowly shifts. Slowly shifts. Where the girl is trying to take power. Yeah, 
or the the bait is trying to take power. Yeah, and they're like, "Bitch, you gotta do see what I say." All now. the time, I see that shit all the time, and and you slowly because the guy just is like kind of goes along with it, like, "Oh, okay, I'll go to this and go to that," and all of a sudden, like you Eddie know, Murphy says, the okay. seventh, <laughs> it's seriously, <laughs> and and they have they're angry about it. But not to her. Like they'll talk okay, to me so and be like, "Why am I going to the stupid party with her?" Whatever. You know what the problem is? Not like, enough blowjobs. Oh my god! What? I, I mean, I'm following. <laughs> I'm following. There's not what? enough blowjobs. Yeah. What? There's not there's enough definitely going. No there's not jobs. enough. What? I don't know if down. that's. There's not enough going down on each other. What? Um, I. I I think 100% if you're in a relationship like that, you're no longer getting blowjobs. That's what I'm saying. 100%. What? There's no <laughs> There is a down. correlation. There's no cunnilingus. Yep. There's no blowjobs. No, no, no. This probably is cunnilingus, but not the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> some guys, I know some of my friends, I could probably name them, where I feel like that's the case. There's no B, There's no ZJs. There's no ZJs. Why is there the Z? You to explain the Z to me. Can't afford if it. you have to ask... <laughs> Can't afford it. <laughs> so I'm saying it's like there's yeah. no J's. <laughs> there's no J's. No J's at no all. No J's happening. And at that's all. just ruining the dynamic. You got to have J's. If there's no J's, then the relationship is it not up. fucking it up. Happening. You sit right? down and you say, listen. <laughs> don't look at me. Numbers, I don't know what you're talking the about. J numbers need to go up. <laughs> yeah. The stock in J is way down. You got your FJs. <laughs> What's the F? Fingers. The, that's fingers. Finger, finger jobs. What? It's finger uh, bangs. FBs. Yes. Well, I mean, bangs. If you, if right, no yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you, uh, all the Js. We're talking about all the Js. Yeah. FJs. <laughs> uh-huh. Finger job. Yep. Blow jobs. BJs. Yep. ZJs. What's the Z? You can't afford it. Uh, don't, for, <laughs> don't forget RJs. R, oh, yeah. The newspaper. No, no, the RJs. <laughs> don't forget about. You, you got to pay extra for that. The newspaper. Yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> Do a page in the newspaper. Who gives a fuck about the RJ? <laughs> I really would like those articles, and they want me to pay for them now. Because nobody gives a shit about RJs. You know what happens <laughs> when you read the newspaper? You get broken into. You did. <laughs> what? You do. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> Everybody's doing it. Everybody's what? doing it. Don't trust the paper boy. No. It is the paper boy. That's what I'm it's telling you. It's always the paper yeah. boy. Okay, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. So Robert said, "Yes, <laughs> why you were gone?" Yeah, Robert said that apparently these kids these days kids are into fuck groups. KTD what? <laughs> fuck groups, group I, of fuckers. Not... <laughs> group that's not fuckers? what he. That's not what he called them. <laughs> Wait, what'd you call them? <laughs> well, she was asking me like, how does this work where you guys are hanging out versus dating, and we were talking about that. Yeah, and I was saying. Some it's kind of like it's a group of guys and girls now where they all kind of hang out. They, they hook up. They'll and then like it, it starts out where everyone's there's two groups of friends. There's like a boy squad and a girl squad. 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 <laughs> and then it'll become one mega squad. Like they'll both hang out. What? One of you know, like Fucking. one of them wh- a mega no, squad. <laughs> they don't all it's not all <laughs> It's like they'll all congregate somewhere. Like, uh-huh. you know, like they'll all go on maybe a trip somewhere, right? Mm-hmm. This whole group. And then, like, two of them will split off and do a thing, or maybe two of them will split off and. A thing meaning ZJs. They'll get some ZJs, <laughs> <laughs> some RJs, FJs, BJs. Um, extra. <laughs> extra. But it's usually, it there? starts out where you have two groups of friends, and uh-huh. then they kind of mix and match and see which, you know, you kind of. Connect the dot, connect the lines, whatever. See Who's going to match up with which one? Which hole and which peg That's right. fits together the That's best? That's right. And sometimes, okay. sometimes they might switch off. Like, you know, you'll have one But what if you're the pair. one lone group member? It happens. There, there's always nobody one. Nobody wants to fuck. There's always. I that, know. There's always There's always one, one of those in those There's groups. always. Wait. So is the creepo <laughs> jacking it in the corner invited? <laughs> like, is that a thing? Like. They we need they, Larry. <laughs> you know what? To this come would here, work this better. Is not, sit in the corner and cry happening. in jacket. <laughs> this would work better if Larry was in the corner <laughs> with 
A can of silicone yes. lube. Yes. Why is yep. it silicone? Not can. No, because a bottle of lube. Skin safe. If Larry was in the corner with a yeah. bottle of silicone, silicone lube. And a flashlight. <laughs> this <laughs> On his dick session, or his face? Uh-huh. Which one is? Both. <laughs> All this session would work better <laughs> if Larry. No, why, this is this is not all happening in the same room. <laughs> why is the so, guy's name always Larry? This, uh, no, his name is Larry. That's not a real person's name. Or Levi. <laughs> well, his or name Levi. is Lawrence. His official name is Lawrence oh, the okay. Third. All right. But oh. we call him Larry. All right. Yeah. Just so for... okay. So there's these groups of you young people. <laughs> Mega squad. Mega squads. Mega squads. Fuck buddies. This is not all happening in the same room. <laughs> same okay. Place. It's like, it's actually, it's all about group chats nowadays. Okay. All right. So everyone has a group chat, like, uh-huh. you know, whoever, you and your friends all have a little group chat on whatever social media. You're blowing okay. my mind right now. I've never, <laughs> I've never heard of this. Really? I've never heard of this mega squad. <laughs> Frank, I'm calm just... down. <laughs> She it's was gonna, also mind blown. Yeah. So like, <laughs> what? you know, you'll have your boy squad, you know, and yeah. like every day I have me and five other guys and we have a group chat and we're constantly sending memes or pictures or whatever yeah. back and forth or we'll like make plans like, oh, we're going to so-and-so's house. We're going to the bar. Mm. And then girls will have their group chats where they're sending makeup tutorials to each other. <laughs> or whatever I girls lo- do. I love being talking about super their periods. About yeah, talking about periods. And, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna totally just shave off one eyebrow. I'm gonna shave off one eyebrow, and then draw it back in. Yep, yep. And see if anybody notices. The other one's still gonna be it's normal, gonna still regular. Be hair, but they can't. Who, can yeah. you tell if there's? If anybody notices, I'm gonna fuck them. <laughs> If anybody notices, I'm going to give them a ZJ. Uh, yeah, they're going to get a ZJ. First okay. person to notice gets the ZJ. <laughs> Start the timer. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, yeah. I so, love being super ignorant about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to apologize for it. <laughs> anyway, so while they're in between the makeup tutorial messages. <laughs> Why is this? <laughs> <laughs> They might be like, hey, you know, uh, Johnny and his boys, by dicks. the way, they... <laughs> big, what? I don't know. I don't know if dick size is always a conversation, but dick size is always a conversation. In between the, so makeup tutorial, dick size, eyebrow, ZJ's, lube type, lube type <laughs> period jokes. It's all in there. Um, <laughs> my, my. My little brother, the one who lost all the weight, him and his boys have a name for his little group Uh-oh. chat. They're okay. called the Boneyard. Oh God! Oh, uh, I feel like that's a common name though. That's their name. Probably. They need, they the need to like unique that. <laughs> unique boneyard. That. Yeah. Well, you know how like there's different sanctions per city. Like they're the Oregon, <laughs> sit, Oregon State. Uh, boneyard. Oregon, yeah, state. Oregon. The state. Oregon State <laughs> chapter. Oregon State chapter of the Boneyard. Got it. There you go. <laughs> There's a sign and yeah. a special watch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So the uh, there's Oregon definitely State chapter. some hand signs. Yeah. Yes. So the bone yard <laughs> will um, Oregon chapter will mesh with the flower garden girls. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're girls. They like almost, flowers. I I literally <laughs> literally almost did a spit take. I saw she was in the splash zone. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <It's a splash laughs> zone. <laughs> You may get wet. There's going to be. I hope people listen to this podcast, <laughs> and they're like, "This guy has no fucking clue what he's talking about." I've never heard of this. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's real. <laughs> okay, the Oregon chapter of the Boneyard. And the, the flower. So I'm gonna the, 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 the flower, flower garden. The flower garden. Oregon chapter. Oregon chapter. Of the flower garden. <laughs> Why? Yeah. So, oh, <laughs> boys, <laughs> gonna use gonna use him as the boneyard as an example. Okay. Because they have they live in a town home. Okay. With two segments, whatever, two units in it, and then there's his unit with the boneyard, <laughs> and then the other unit is a bunch of cheerleaders. Oh no! Come on, this sounds like the beginning of a porn. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. And then a pizza guy comes. Are they step brothers and stepsisters? 
Oh God, it is a porno. Oh, no. <laughs> Step moms are in there. Yeah. Like Step cousins. You know, we gotta upgrade. Um, <laughs> Step play cousins. So that's how it starts. You know, the little cheerleaders have their group. <laughs> the little cheerleaders. The little tiny whatever cheerleaders. Little baby, <laughs> one inch tall ones. <laughs> They've got their group and they've been friends doing their thing mm-hmm. and they like, we're going to get a house and then they buy the unit of the townhouse and then the boneyard moves in next door and they're like, hey, I'm your neighbor. Let's, you know, and then they have like their tailgate party or the football game and they start to mingle and then, you know, there's five guys and whatever, four girls or however the math is on that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and they hang out and then all of a sudden they're a mega group, you know, and they are the... uh the um the bone garden <laughs> they become the bone garden okay i'm about to wet myself You're... the bone garden <laughs> that is i think robert's hashtag... fucking with us <laughs> you're making this shit up you're brick and mortaring us right now <laughs> hashtag Bone Garden. Hashtag Bone Garden. That's where all <laughs> college kids go. Like, we're going to go to the Bone Garden. And that's where we bone. Okay. I'm face palming right now. I'm face palming. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Double face palm. Okay, but for real, it's just a group of friends. And uh-huh. then, like, the girls invite their mutual, mutual friends. And the guys invite theirs. And then it ends up being, like, five guys and five girls. And they're like, oh, we're going to go to you know the fucking movies or whatever <laughs> or we're gonna movies. go to the um the arcade i don't know what the fuck they do. <laughs> arcade is it 1983 know, dog wherever they go go karts <laughs> fucking laser tag what? wait <laughs> <laughs> tag. roller skating roller skating you know yeah, like roller skating. <laughs> Um, Wait, where where do where do mega <laughs> where do mega groups go? I don't Bone know. Garden. I don't know. I've, I have Col- not. I've not garden? been. Where, where I've not been blessed with the bone flower garden. yard. <laughs> bone yard. Bone garden. Bone garden. Yeah. All right. So, where, is where there... do bone gardens go these days? <laughs> I don't know. Because the I mall's know, dead. I know up in uh, Oregon, they normally like they all go on a hike or they all go skiing <laughs> or they all go. I don't know what the fuck they do. They go on, on a hike to the. That's what. Meteor just so shower. you know, I don't know if you know this, but that's what white people do. <laughs> they go on I hikes. I know. Wait. I do know. Yes. <laughs> Wait. Are you saying white people hike? White people hike. And camp. And camp. That's like a white, all the that's time. That's like the white people thing. Hmm. So they're all white. They, the bone. <laughs> it's the white bone garden. <laughs> Oregon chapter. And they go bone for garden a- is the like the best thing ever. <laughs> I would like to go to the Bone Garden. Just yeah. think of <laughs> you just like the, the logo is like skull and crossbones with some flowers. <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah. Why? With yeah. Bacon. I'm gonna tell my little brother just he needs to rename his mega group. The Bone Garden. Yeah. The Bone Garden. Duh. <laughs> but the, okay, so they'll all go camping or whatever. <laughs> And then, like, (laughs) (laughs) they go camping. Bone Garden goes to the campgrounds. Are they scared of slashers, though? (laughs) Yes, 100%. That's part of it. Part of it. The girl's like, I'm scared of slasher. Hold me. Can you you please fix my problem with your dick? Hold me. It's always the problem. Please. I know. Can you just make me feel more secure <laughs> by just ramming fucking me? Fucking the shit out of me. <laughs> Give me the best ZJ I just ever. Give me the best ZJ you can possibly muster right now. Muster? <laughs> so, <laughs> they'll go camping and they'll have a house party, you know, uh-huh. and then all kinds of people show up and then they're all getting drunk and they're uh-huh. all getting loose and they're starting to hang out. Mm. And maybe these two, whatever guy and girl, finding a vibe between them and they're like, all right, we're going to go off to the bedroom. Ooh. 
or or they'll just like exchange numbers and then they'll kind of go off and they'll start the courting process as you say they might go on a couple <laughs> dates or whatever is there a tiny house involved but you... <laughs> what, are you talking what? About? <laughs> there's millennials i was trying to do the tiny house yeah exactly <laughs> they have a giant party 20 guys in, in what, the tiny, tiny house, house. Yeah. <laughs> They have to like. They can't help themselves, but they screw do the each other out. because yeah. they're so close. Yeah, to each exactly, other. they're basically they're they mostly boning the entire time. <laughs> they can't. It's just you know, dicks it everywhere. Just happens. It's just tripping. Well, fall they either go back to the tiny I house. I fell in a dick, and I had no choice. <laughs> there's the a tiny house, house so small. or there's like a van. <laughs> exactly. oh, I don't no, know where like I don't a, know where it ends up happening, but like a conversion van. Like. <laughs> yeah, that exactly. makes it better. It's fine then. It's that's, a conversion that's the thing, van. The van life. Yeah, up. hashtag van life. Where they get McDonald's Coke. And, uh, <laughs> That's where it all starts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they go from city to city, making sure all the quality is good across McDonald's. Check the ice. Check level. the ice, make sure there's zero in there. <laughs> <laughs> make sure no one's skimping you. Look, Frank's like, how do I get invited to Omega Squad? <laughs> how do I get in? Like, I want to be a part of Omega Squad. <laughs> Can you, like, hook me up? No. Probably have to grow a man bun. You cannot. Yeah, you are going to need a man bun. Where's your man bun? <laughs> it's hiding. You can't see it underneath the fade. I feel like the old man look is, is in. Yeah, I think like the grandma, Richard, grandpa everybody's look. Everybody's doing it. Yeah, everybody's doing it. Yeah, like granny looks mm-hmm. are like in. They're in. To look like a granny, but then not, but act like a whore is what's in right now. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you know granny what's interesting? Whore? Granny, granny horse, whore? granny horse. That's what the oh, kids are doing. Hundred yeah. percent. Yes. <laughs> you want to be grandma, and grandpa, bone... but you want to be like fucking everybody <laughs> and everything. Apparently, senior citizen homes, like assisted living, are like yeah, they get bone it yards. On. <laughs> Those are the bone gardens. Yeah, up there. they get it on. Yeah, because they're like, my wife's dead, <laughs> and all these women here are widows. So let's everybody go. has gonorrhea. Yes. Oh my gosh! It's seriously that's a thing. Like yes, everyone in there, they're like, "Why do we care? We're gonna die soon." Anyway. <laughs> and everyone already has it here. So I'm gonna die go. in like 12 minutes. Yeah. So, so let's, if fucking, I get gonorrhea, let's, let's fucking go. <laughs> oh. Just oh. get me off. Give me gonorrhea, <laughs> and then I'll die. That's well, a, the new old... st- the new style right now, though. With the the kid, even like the kids younger than me. The kids. The kids. <laughs> Not me. I'm a mature adult. Now. <laughs> Yeah, full on twenty two. <laughs> full on twenty two. Um, like, you know, high schoolers right now and like early college guys. Mm-hmm. It's like I don't know what era it is because I don't fucking know. I think it's like the seventies or the eighties look. Bell bottom jeans yeah. and like the chokers and yeah. the tie dye and yeah. the big glasses and those haircuts <laughs> with the thing and the bangs, all that. That's what's the that's the style now. Like looking like Jim Morrison from the yeah. doors? Yep. I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> yes. I'm young, damn it. Damn it. Oh, no shit. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I only know, like, new stuff, bro. Like Led Zeppelin. Like, you know what Led Zeppelin is. I know like. it, yeah. I know, like, the big names, but the Doors isn't big enough where I can just oh. like, think of their... Oh. They're the pretty doors big, isn't but... big enough? <laughs> Not, I mean, I don't... My boys aren't like, yo, bro, did you hear the new Doors album? <laughs> well, you can't Whoa, hear the fire. new ones. <laughs> can't hear the new ones because the dude died like 40 yeah. years ago. I don't think anyone my age could tell you that. Bone, like... the, Bone Garden. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the best thing ever. I guess like Frank's face though. No, like... because you said Boneyard. <laughs> yeah, and, and then the, you flower had garden. the Flower then Garden. They combined for the Mega the Squad. Beautiful. Like just the synergy. <laughs> Like the corporate synergy Ooh. of the bone garden. <laughs> like they had a meeting. You know with what a... it is? Because I think the kids these days. <laughs> KTD. Yeah. <laughs> don't realize AIDS is still a thing. And, um, and actually, sexually transmitted diseases are still a thing. 100%. I think. <laughs> I don't know. I think they do. It's kind of like a lot of people my age still smoke. Like, yeah. Th- we're kind I don't of a, understand we're that. We're kind of all like aware of it. But I think we just don't either care. don't care. Or yeah. we're like, oh, it won't happen to me because I'm young. <laughs> And I'm invisible or whatever. <laughs> okay. But um, my shit's impervious. Condoms are like nobody fucking uses condoms. <gasps> way and they've done studies like nobody my age is using condoms. Oh my Everyone's God. like that shit. You need to wrap it up. Everybody's like that shit. Okay. Pussies. Well. Okay. Look. Pull out game strong. No. Nope. <laughs> 
That's how you end up with like 10, 15 no, I mean, kids by the I time you're 25. I totally understand. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody is just like, nope, oh, fuck that. God. Not doing that shit. <laughs> you get <laughs> only squares. Only dudes who play <laughs> lacrosse are using <laughs> <laughs> okay i guess i don't know what it is if they're just like oh we'll just take a plan b or get an abortion or yeah like, but that eh, doesn't save whatever. your dick from getting warts and stuff on it okay so my sister's <laughs> dermatologist and she takes warts off mm-hmm. of dicks yep all, all day day every day er mm-hmm and Dang. she's like, the better looking the guy is, she's like, if she sees him in the waiting room, if he's good looking, she knows he has warts all over his dick. <laughs> she's like, I know what you're in for. Yeah, I know what you're here for. <laughs> it's just like a field. <laughs> no, she had a guy a one field time of warts. that his dick was so fucked up <laughs> that they were probably going to have to amputate it. Just cut that shit off. Yes. Oh my god! Yes. Yeah. Wrap it no. up. Wrap it up, no. kids. Well, actually, if you're listening, wrap it up. Actually, you can... there are several different strains of STDs. Yes. That can make it through condoms. Like what? They're not a hundred. You guys have super. That's right. STDs. Like no. they're Watch too out for small. Children. Like they're no. so small they can go through the material. Amputate. Can you imagine oh, if a doctor says, "Okay, this dick, we can't, we can't what salvage would you do? it"? I'd be like, "I'll just kill cut myself. that shit off." What do you? Uh, do? Okay, but wait. Do would you? you get, okay, dick do you get a or new, death? Which wait, one? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> do you get a new like prosthetic one? Do you just wear a strap on all the time? You have to wear a strap on. What, what, what do you, you get out of that strap on? Dude, go to Dubai. <laughs> what? Go to Dubai. You go to all the way up the tallest part of the elevator. Yep. <laughs> And you jump off. You jump. Oh, off. You jump. Is that the way to do it? Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Plan it. If you don't have a passport, you get one. Yep. <laughs> yep. Go to the post office. Wait yeah. in line. Get the picture. Get the picture. Smile. Take the 29-hour flight mm-hmm. to Dubai. Take a boat. <laughs> a boat. Slow boat to Dubai. That would take months. Yeah. 24-hour <laughs> flight. That's the budget. I mean... Since you're going to die anyway. I guess it doesn't matter. That's true. You just pull out your life savings. Like, yeah. we got this one plane ticket. It doesn't ticket. matter anymore. One way. One way. One way. You ain't coming back. One way. You think they're going to ask, like, why is this a one-way ticket there, Chief? Nobody cares. <laughs> That's true. Observation deck. You find a way around all the things where yep. they make it so people can't jump off. Go over the electric fence. Do you think they do that in Dubai? Bribe. I think that's only for dumb Americans where they keep <laughs> us from jumping off of stuff. Because they expect us to do that. Do so you, is your wait, dick that do, important to you that you'd rather die if you didn't have your dick? What's the point of life? Yeah, what are what you, you mean, fucking doing? What do you mean? What am I supposed you to can... do if I'm in a hotel <laughs> in New Jersey and it's like Thursday what? night and there's no good movies to rent? <laughs> You're going to fucking rub one out. <laughs> but if you can't rub it out. If you can't rub one out, what are you going to do? Other stuff. There's nothing else. <laughs> There's nothing else. You're in like, you're in a hotel in fucking <laughs> Prescott, Arizona. There's a small town. You don't have shit around there. It's minus four outside. <laughs> I need completion. <laughs> That's weird. I yeah. need completion. How are you not complete? When there's minus four. <laughs> <laughs> in Arizona. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Freak blizzard. <laughs> yeah, that would be freaky. All right, there's a Habib outside. <laughs> yeah. The Habib is in there. Okay. The Habib? That's yeah. Not, that's not what I said. <laughs> so much sand. Yeah. Like, You're all like the sand. I got a jacket. I got Okay, so you can't. So you can never. Hopefully, there's a good filtration system. But, Frank, listen. Robert, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> so your dicks are so important to you. Yes. You'd rather die if you didn't have a dick. Um, I mean, that's a serious thing, don't you think? What? Like, what are you doing? Like, like, what, how, like I other... don't have a dick. <laughs> yes, you sit like, down, I'm you just, urinate, and then you. I do might other as well stuff. have my wife pay for all my meals. <laughs> I'll just, I'll stay home. I'll take care of the kids. <laughs> I'll wear a dress. <laughs> Why don't I take it to Dubai? Oh my God. <laughs> that's so sad. You don't think that's that's Burst super Khalifa. sad for you? Burst that's Khalifa like, oh, if I up. can't fuck anymore, if I can't if I can't jack it, yeah. then my life has no meaning. There's no meaning left. Gosh. Well, I mean how sad for you guys. I mean, if you uh <laughs> 
<laughs> there's kids so are many up. other stuff yeah. in the world. <laughs> Your kids are already off to college. You know, what are you doing? You're just sitting own, there. They have their own income. You're just sitting there collecting social security checks. You know, I mean, you're not just, doing anything. That's not going to cover ZJ's. Oh my god, that's not enough for ZJ's. You can't even get a ZJ. You don't have a dick. <laughs> you don't have a dick. <laughs> what? Why would you even live on this planet if you can't get a ZJ? Even if you can't afford it, just knowing yeah. that you couldn't. If you know is a possibility of, of affording a ZJ. You know, there's more to life than sex. You know that, guys. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> there's other things in the world. So many other things. No? Mm, no? I'm, draw- I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> All right, question. Yeah. Have you ever masturbated while driving? Oh, God. Oh. I uh, know. I have not. I know. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's like definitely less been like than a lot five of, women out there who have done it, but guys, like a lot of like, you know, rubbing. Yeah, like, like when not, I get home, l- not shit. like full on completion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just like, dude, when I get home, I gotta fucking take oh, care of the shit. Maybe angry. I'll stop at a fucking gas station. And just go in the bathroom, <laughs> I was like, get oh, this shit over with. Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> when I get home, it's gonna be right a now. two-handed. This, <laughs> I'm gonna spit on it. <laughs> <It'll be two-handed. laughs> This shit's going to be two-handed in like 48 seconds. This shit's done. Okay. This shit's done. Like, I'm going to just take my pants off and it's already done. I ain't going to touch it. Just once air hits it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm going to just stand in front of a fan. <laughs> it must be hard. And then hard. it'll blow back on me. And... Yeah, it, it is hard. It, it's been <laughs> It's been hard. The it whole has been hard time, to be a boy. The whole, it's been so hard oh. for 32 minutes on your, <laughs> on your commute. You commute home. Why are they hard, hard so much? What's wrong with them? What's wrong with your dicks? They just, they just, they just get hard sometimes. <laughs> they just get matter. hard sometimes. It doesn't matter what you're doing, who you're with. I'm at church and my dick's just I'm hard. What am I supposed to do? God is getting me all kinds of flustered. <laughs> He's speaking to me about ZJs. <laughs> you can get it without thinking about anything. It just like it just happens. It just fucking happens. You're just sitting there, mind your own business, yep. la la la, typing on your little computer. That's right. And then it just shows up, and you're like, "What the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit! Man. No, I gotta I go gotta home. Fucking... How sad! <laughs> I gotta hurry home. <laughs> I to hurry home. The only thing I hurry home for is for poops. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's Can't another do one. do that in the world. <laughs> When's the last time? <laughs> I'm sure Frank. If you poop that. anywhere, <laughs> I poop anywhere. I drop yeah, that see, <laughs> he doesn't care. I drop that load. Ugh, no, I can't poop in. Have you done it on the side of the road? Before? <laughs> oh. No, never. You wait for it, find an <laughs> exit to a gas station. I haven't got to that point where I've had to do it on the side of the road, like like bridesmaids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what she did in the sink. Yep. <laughs> oh no no. Oh. What she had to run out and do in it the in the street. street. <laughs> oh. Was that not the best? <laughs> oh. No. When when she's doing it in the sink and she's like, "Don't look at me. <laughs> look away. <laughs> look away." That's the best thing. And then she runs out in the wedding dress <laughs> and does it in the gutter. Oh God! But driving home, when when I know I'm close to home, like five minutes away, it's like, bitch, you better. It's like we're fucking. We're we're gonna shit. We're man. not we're not <laughs> stopping at any stop signs. <laughs> we're rolling right through them. Like one, once I get off the freeway. Yeah. Oh, there's something where you're just your bowels know. Like we're on oh, the exit like, ramp. Like your bowels know you're five minutes from home. We're on the exit ramp. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost we're Bitch, on stretch. You, you fucking floor. Like this is your light. <laughs> you're not six cars back, and you're waiting for the next light. It knows yeah. when this is your light. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 You're gonna shit, <laughs> and it's gonna be explosive. Why it's gonna is be it just what? like fucking atom bombs? Yeah. Right here, it's it's a spray. Why? Do you ever do you ever just like you know you fucking it it explodes right? And then you're like, you don't even get up to look. You just, you flush it while you're still sitting there. You're like, I don't even want to see. What I don't want to know the damage. I don't want to know what just happened. I don't know the damage that I has been done. I just want to mentally clear it from. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like gone. you're on there. You, you flush it. You sit there for another minute. Just ten, thinking like. Ten minutes. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's like, oh, oh fuck. My God. 
I know what happened. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> okay, it's, but have you done that that same experience while <laughs> tripping on some sort of substance? <laughs> like you're really high or you're on some something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And yes. you're having a bad trip. And you're like, oh, my God. No, no. This is there, happening. There was, there and was one go... time I was at my boy's house. I don't remember what we were doing. Should I be hearing this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, okay. This is your podcast, and you invited us. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I don't remember what we were doing. We were, I think I was living here, and we were visiting or whatever. I was at my boy's house. And we were drinking, we were smoking. I went to his bathroom, and I was in there for a while. <laughs> yeah, it, dude, I was in there for experience. a while. It's like a chapter of because we had already been drinking, <laughs> and I wasn't driving. So we went back to his house. We were listening to music, partying, playing video games, yep, like yep. Pam, Pam, chilling, Pam, Pam, chilling. And then we started smoking, mm-hmm. and this motherfucker always has the deep shit. <laughs> it's like we're going in deep on this. You one. got purple. <laughs> There's yellow colors. Yep. I, I, have you ever seen yellow in weed before? Um, I I have, but I only like one or two yeah. little golden nuggets. I, but those, that's the serious purple, shit. Yep. Yellow. It's yellow. White. You seen white? Yeah. White. Yep. Every color of the fucking rainbow. <laughs> White's not yep. the color of the rainbow, but there was white in there. <laughs> All the colors. And we're smoking off the off the bong. No, we were smoking off of the off the um fuck do you call that the um, bubbler pipe hookah the machine the vaporizer yeah off the real vaporizer Vol- i think they call it a volcano or something yeah anyway. we were smoking out the vaporizer yeah i was in the bathroom <laughs> for like an hour <laughs> it was there do was, you know what you ate before that do you the remember food wasn't a no problem then, here okay <laughs> It was the alcohol and the. So the what weed. happens to you when you're so high that you're in the bathroom you can't function or did you forget where you what you're doing? What happens? No, because you're because yeah 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 we you ate lose a track lot. of we time. Still, <laughs> we ate a lot of food, right? And like it was coming out of both ends, a lot of explosions. Mm-hmm. It was like World War. Yep, nine. it was like being in the bunkers and it's like yeah. <laughs> Like, like, but then you're also sleepy. Yep, yep. Because seriously. it's three thirty in the morning. Yep. And so you're high. Yep. You're drunk. Yep. You're full. Yep. And then unfull. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. At that point. Yep. And you know, but it was cool because you're with your homies, right? And your homies have been there before. Oh, 100 percent. So they know. So they know. Don't you like, hate when you like are are doing that with someone who hasn't been there before they don't know what to do and they don't know what to do and they're just like <laughs> oh my god it's like oh my god he's gonna die yeah <laughs> like bro we don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> but they've been there before yeah and they know. they know and then when it's over then you go and you lay down and they like bring you water yeah exactly <laughs> gotta be like, with, you gotta be with those kinds of homies they're like patting you on the yeah, back they're, they're like, like i've been there bro i've been there bro <laughs> This might be your first time. This might be your 10th time. <laughs> but I've been there. You know, you overdid it, homie. <laughs> yep. Homie, we know. We, we've we been there. Yeah. Yep. That they got the you fuck, back. That's when you know that your homies are your fucking That homies. 100%. Yep. Oh, dude. That is the I try to best. be that it's the, guy. It's the anytime. worst and the best. Yeah, exactly. I always try to be that guy because I've, I've kind of been there on all of those experiences. <laughs> So anytime you've I'm been on with, both sides, I've been on, you've been the water guy <laughs> and the on, yes. I try, World I War try to guy. be the water guy. Anytime I'm doing something with someone, I'm like, I've been there. I got the water. <laughs> I got some Cheetos for you or whatever you need. Here's a special a warm pillow. blanket. But why are Cheetos so delicious when you're high? That's what I like. I know, gosh. right? Why are they so it's fucking just delicious? Specifically, Cheetos yes. are like the shit. One time, <laughs> the first time I ever really got the munchies. I had like a, one of those family bags. Of <laughs> Not the party one, but the family one. Whatever one, the party the family. Um, and then I had like another bag, like, <laughs> a small bag of something. And I fucking, we used to like, we got in the car and we drove up to like the mountains or whatever. 
um, you know, like the very end neighborhoods at the base of the mountain, right? Yeah. And like we go way out to some road that's like under construction, and we'd park, and then we just the biggest piece of shit pipe you've ever seen. It was one of those like a tiny wooden box with a plastic tip coming <laughs> okay. out of it. Or anyway, so we'd smoke out of that, and then you ever get a hit where it tastes bad? Oh yeah. And so I'm in the back seat, and this dude's in a coupe. You're like, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude's in a coupe, so it's two doors. So in order to get out, you gotta get a motherfucker out. You gotta get the passenger seat guy out, and then fold open the door and get out. And so I'm in the back, back, right? And I had just eaten all these Cheetos. <laughs> Thing. Delicious. And we were like, let's go, you know, get another, we'll re up, you know? And so we went out there and I took the hit and it didn't taste good. And I just threw up in my mouth. No. Oh. I was like, fuck. And then, so I, I gotta can't get speak. Out. And so I'm just punching the dudes back of the chair. And he's like, what's going on? And I'm just like, mm. <laughs> punching his chair. And he's like, what, what's happening? And I'm like, mm. finally, I get out and I just fucking unload he on the side the of the hit. road. He finally figured it out. Or someone was like, dude, you got to get the fuck out. And I just start fucking puking on the side of the road. And, and we thought we were so fucking smart. This dude comes riding by on a bike. Just some random dude. What time of night was this? This, I don't know. It was like 4 o'clock. It was, it was daylight. AM? No, no. Oh, it was daylight. Daylight. <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought you were partying at night time. We had just got off. Just Daytime. got out of school. We just got out of school. So just got like, out of school. Out of school. Go to the boys' house. <laughs> Eat the Cheetos, <laughs> go smoke. Normal shit. Normal shit. Yeah. And you know we're we're where no one else like no cars should be in this spot. So it's obviously weird. There's a car there, and the dude rides by on a bike, and of course we're like, oh my god, that's probably an FBI agent. <laughs> and he he knows. He's got codes. He's got codes. <laughs> He's gonna arrest all of us. He's just some random dude. <laughs> And then I start throwing up, and he just looks at us. You know, he's looking over at us, obviously, because he's like, what are these motherfuckers doing? <laughs> this dude is, like, throwing up. And for some reason, of course, we're all fucking super stoned. And for some reason, we feel like we need to say something to him. <laughs> at least I felt like I need to say something to him. There, there needs to be a justification There needs here. to be like, oh, I'm, I'm just, you know. So I said some shit like, oh, I just got sick. So we pulled over to, like... For, it wasn't like he said something. <laughs> he just looks over at us. Like, and I'm just like, oh, I, I'm sick. Like, as if he asked what's going on. You gotta, okay. make, a, you gotta make a proclamation. <laughs> exactly. I just like, don't, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. Don't worry about me. And then he just, uh, he just keeps looking at us. He's like, I remember those days. <laughs> just right. Keeps riding on. He's like, bitch, I know you high. He's <laughs> like, I know exactly what you fools are doing. <laughs> That shit was funny. Oh, dude. <laughs> but yeah. what I was saying is like, sometimes you'll have like a bad trip, like you're way too yes. high or something. And you're like, oh my gosh, all my friends don't really like me or whatever. You're, just, you're going down this rabbit hole. Like you're really drunk. Oh, I've been there. Yeah, we've all been there. And so, uh, but you have to shit and it's kind of unrelated to what you're <laughs> unrelated to all these thoughts, but you're just like, ah, oh, Jesus. And so you hit the bathroom, and it's like a fucking, you lay a fucking pipe. Mega. You're laying conduit, bro. Yeah. Like, that shit goes in there. 20, <laughs> zero gauge coming out. Zero. And uh, and then you're like, oh, my gosh. It's like I just flushed all my problems down the toilet. I feel great now. My friends love me. What? I, I'm the sexiest man alive. <laughs> Look at me. Everyone loves me. All my all your problems, all your were, problems in your left. Shit? They were in my shit. Okay. <laughs> They're gone. They're gone forever. Yep. Yep. I know some people have felt that. I just want to tell you, you're not alone. <laughs> if you're listening. If you're listening to this while you're high, just go take a shit. You're not alone. <laughs> you're not alone. Go take a shit. You'll feel better. That'll check that box off. <laughs> Go take a shit. Yeah. <laughs> if you're having a bad day, you know, it solves your problems. Solves your problems. If, if you're tripping a little too hard, <laughs> just get that shit out. Go take a shit, bro. Those negative demons. <laughs> Those negative flush demons them down the toilet. Dude, it might take a minute. Did you ever tell you about that one time? It was me, Kev, and it's always Kev. Freaking Kev. 
Not <laughs> me and my boy Kev. Yeah, it's always Kev. Kev is Kev me, is means no Kev. nothing good's gonna happen. Matt Matt is <laughs> is the key in this one. Okay. Was that the one that I hung out with? No. No, different, different, different Matt. Matt. Oh. He's known a million Matts. Mm. Well, two, but yeah. no, more than that. Million? Two. So we're, we're <laughs> I think we're I don't think we're oh yeah, we were here. It was during C E S, I think. Weird. So it was me, Kev, Matt, and someone else. I don't remember who the fourth person was. Spencer? Probably. Probably. There was probably people getting high. But I was driving, <laughs> so I wasn't I wasn't partaking in, in, in anything because I was driving the the old 300. I Before we got in the car, I made the proclamation. I said, if anybody has to throw up. Oh, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> at this point, it was the end of the night. It was like 3.30, yep, 4 o'clock yep, in the morning. Everyone's fucked. Uh, everybody's fucked. I'm I'm sober because I'm the driver. I'm driving my car, so mm. I You're made the it a point. Yeah, I'm, I'm DD in this bitch. So I'm like, if any you are you bitches are not throwing up in my G ride, like yep. I did. <laughs> oh no! Was this before or after I threw up? Pre. Okay. <laughs> this, this was this was the first almost throw up. Okay. Oh, no. So like, if you motherfuckers have to throw up, shit is pristine in it's here. It's not don't. happening in my G ride. Yeah. I got 22s on this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fuck my 22s, bro. I got 22s. These are leather seats imported from I Italy. Got screens out the ass. Yeah. I got a PlayStation. Here, I got a VCR. Mm-hmm. We're rolling. Yep. A VCR. Yeah. <laughs> what so was this? Betamax. Up on the Betamax. There's a reel to reel. Don't worry. Everything's reel to in reel's here. in the trunk. <laughs> So I'm like, how many CDs were your CD changer though? Seven. <laughs> seven bro. One in the head unit oh, and yeah, six in the bro. trunk. Let's go. Let's do it. Hell yeah. So I was like, if, you, if any motherfuckers even <laughs> get in your mind, yep. like you're going to throw up, yep. it's not happening in the G ride. <laughs> so I need to know, I need a, I need a five minute warning. <laughs> yeah. That's five minutes. Yep. And so we're rolling. Uh, KD's in the front. Matt's in the back. And Kev. Was, I don't remember mm. there's somebody else, but that person's not important. So we're rolling, and Matt is like, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately after the fuck. Yeah. We're, on, we're rolling. I'm on the freeway. I'm like, I, I'm like, skirt. I get off. He's like, he's like, this is your five minute warning. I skirt off the freeway. I pulled into the first spot, which was a gas station. Yeah. And this motherfucker vomited like his body weight. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did he get out of the car? You no, know, he got out of the car. Okay. Because he knew I was going to fuck him up. Yeah. <laughs> if it happened in the G yeah. ride. So was it just outside or did he make it to the bathroom? He or something? barely made it. To the like, bathroom? I pulled up next to mm-hmm. a, a, a dumpster. Yep. Because there's always dumpsters. Everywhere. Oh yeah, always. Plenty of dumpsters in Vegas. I pulled <laughs> out. This mother vomited so much. Oh You're my like, how god! Did you have that much in you, bro. <laughs> yeah, but there was a lot of respect there. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. He he held mm-hmm. it in, and after yep. like like you know two months later, he was like, "You remember that time <laughs> I was about to throw up in the G ride?" Yep. Because we all called the G ride, yeah. And he was like, "You know what? I I really felt like you were gonna murder me. <laughs> <laughs> really feared for my life in that. Like moment. you were gonna fuck me up, yeah. If I threw up in, in, in yep. the ride, yep. I was like, you know what? I was. I, yeah, I probably would have murdered you. I, you, you. I'm you, thinking of someone throwing up in my ride right now. Yeah. You know, if I had like a knife or something in my, <laughs> in my trunk, like you would. So be- it would be like one of those passion killings. Oh yeah. yeah. You well, would get off. You 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 would probably like get off for that fucking car. I'd, like, I'd take my time. You know, I would like pull over. I'm like, all right, dude, is that where we're gonna be after he throws up? Because we knew, have rules. He so knew. now I'm gonna pull over, and slowly work. walk to the back, open my trunk. You know, I might fumble with my keys a little bit. <laughs> slowly open the thing, pull out this fucking machete because everyone has one in their trunk. Everybody has. Obviously. Like, all right, dude. You know what's going on now? Like we had it an agreement. And now I got to do this to you. <laughs> yeah, he, he knew that he would be in the dumpster <laughs> with the vomit. Yeah. 100%. So much vomit. Yeah. It was very <laughs> chunky. <laughs> Dude, 
Thank you.